Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about isoenzyme. So, what are isoenzymes? So, isoenzymes are isoenzyme. Okay, they are nothing but multiple forms. You know, right? Twins, identical twins. So, like that, in our body, in our cells, there are enzymes which are similar. Okay, that means physically and chemically they are different, but they perform the function is same. Okay, physically, chemically, they are different by using like a various methods like electrophoresis. Okay, and by using enzyme kinetics, we can make out the difference. Otherwise, their main function is though they are same. Okay, and they are performing the same function, but they are different physically and chemically. Okay, so isoenzymes, what you say? Enzymes that catalyze the same biochemical reaction. Okay, and only those enzymes which are in polymeric form demonstrate isoenzyme so suppose you take like uh, olden days you can take one rupee coin now also you can see one rupee coin or two rupee coin or ten rupee coin the design is different but the value is same similarly isoenzymes physically chemically they are different but functionally they are same they perform or they catalyze the same biochemical reaction so there are a lot of examples for isoenzymes in our body so two prominent examples you can take like lactate dehydrogenase, creatine kinase. So there are other enzymes like ALT, AST. So all these are like uh, comes under isoenzymes. So coming to the first prominent example lactate dehydrogenase. There are five forms of lactate dehydrogenase. Okay and all these five forms catalyze the same reaction. Okay conversion of pyruvate to lactate or lactate to pyruvate. It's a reversible reaction. Okay. So what is that LDH? Pyruvate you all know. Pyruvate is end product of glycolysis. Lactate. So LDH. Okay, here NAD is converted uh, NADH plus H plus converted to NAD. That means donation of two hydrogens to lactate okay it donate two hydrogens to pyruvate and forms a lactate here this reaction is again reversible here nad is converted to nadh plus h plus so that is the prominent function of this uh, lactate dehydrogenase it's a tetrameric enzyme and that catalyzes oxidation tetrameric in the sense we are all studied in protein structure quaternary structure of protein oligomer monomer right so one polypeptide means monomer and if it is having more than one you can say oligomer right it is a tetrameric protein that means it is made up of four polypeptide chains tetrameric okay and oxidation of l lactate to pyruvate and it's reversible so ldh is made up of two types of polypeptides okay m and h that means m type polypeptide 2 in number and h type polypeptides 2 in number so obviously it is a tetrameric okay so that means M, M, H, H, right. So tetrameric, we have given the justification. So there are types based on the location, LDH1, LDH2, LDH3, LDH4 and LDH5. So how to differentiate, okay, this LDH1, LDH2, LDH3, LDH4, LDH5. So there are techniques through which we can differentiate these isoenzymes, that is electrophoresis. See here, so based on the mobilities okay so there might be some structural changes little like so though twins are identical their fingertip fingerprints are different okay it's a rare cases in like uh, some other uh, cases like one or two cases where twins also having same fingerprints so otherwise twins also do carry difference in the fingerprints they don't have though they are identical their fingerprints will differ same way here okay based on the electrophoric mobilities so ldh1 will move up to this distance like in uh, applying electric field in electrophoresis ldh2 will move up to this distance and ldh3 will move like this and ldh4 ldh5 so the based on the distance they have traveled in electrophoresis so we can make out the separation of or categorize the isomers of the lactate dehydrogenase and ldh1 we'll study one by one like uh, LDH1 is the fastest moving fraction towards the anode and LDH5 is the slowest moving towards the anode. Okay, LDH1 predominates in cells of cardiac muscle. So that means LDH1 is present in cardio 
cardiac cells and rbc ldh5 liver and skeletal muscle so i will tell you what is importance see ldh1 is mainly present in the location so their function is same so ldh1 converts pyruvate to lactate in uh, cardiac cells ldh5 also converts pyruvate to lactate or l lactate to pyruvate it's a reversible reaction right so the reaction specificity that means the function is same both uh, they are involved in the same reaction but location is different ldh1 involved in cardiac muscles and erythrocytes ldh5 involved in liver and skeletal muscles so this location will give the precise so in case of some heart diseases okay so how do you find out that our heart is in trouble like uh, heart attacks right so if heart muscle cardiac muscle got damaged in like necrosis of cardiac muscle so this ldh1 will come out of the cardiac cells okay and will appear in large amounts so by identifying ldh1 we can say our heart is in danger and there is a heart attack but in case of like liver problems and in skeletal muscle issues this ldh5 by identifying ldh5 in circulation you can make out there is problem with the liver or skeletal muscle so clinical applications that's what i was talking about ldh1 and ldh2 occurs within 24 to 48 hours after myocardial infarction so the person who undergo heart attack okay if it, if we take him to the hospital so first they will ask for the parameters to check in the laboratory so in that ldh1 levels and ldh2 levels will be elevated and predominant elevation of ldh2 ldh3 occur in leukemia that means cancerous conditions ldh3 elevated in malignancy of many tissues elevation of ldh5 up damage to the liver or skeletal muscle so this is the use of these iso enzymes okay diagnosis of disorders so now we'll see overall chart like uh, types and composition location and diagnostic importance of lactate dehydrogenase and creatine kinase we'll study creatine kinase later on okay first as we're discussing about ldh you see ldh1 is as, as as we said it's a tetramer lactate dehydrogenase is a tetramer it's made up of four polypeptide chains like two or uh, like one muscle type one heart type so h is transfer heart so ldh is completely present in the heart and some amounts in rbc so these levels are elevated in myocardial infarctions and h2 the sub component is m and which is present in heart on rbc so kidney diseases and megaloblastic anemia these levels are in, uh, elevated ldh3 it is mainly present in brain and kidneys so in leukemia and malignancy you can make out this ldh3 levels and ldh4 majority is muscle type so lungs and spleen and pulmonary infections ldh5 is mainly muscle type so some liver and uh, muscle damage diseases you can make out this ldh5 in circulation so next thing is creatine kinase so what is creatine kinase where it is present creatine we all aware creatine is present in the muscles okay okay it depends skeletal muscles cardiac muscles okay so it depends creatine kinase is iso enzymes or dimer that are made up of two types of polypeptide chains which may be either m or b creatine kinase is a dimer and lactate dehydrogenase is a tetramer okay and which may be either m type or b type but in case of ldh it is m type or h type so there are three types of this ck1 ck2 and ck3 ck1 is of brain type it is mainly present in the brain ck2 is a uh, cardiac tissues so remember in cardiac disorders so this ck2 levels are the main required one and these levels are elevated in circulation if you are having any problem with the heart like myocardial infarctions or heart attack and ck3 is present in skeletal muscles in skeletal disorders this ck3 level will be elevated so clinical applications if you talk about uh, ck1 may be elevated in uh, neonates particularly in damaged brain or very low birth weight uh, newborn i mean like uh, premature babies okay in this condition ck1 levels may be increased increases levels of ck2 occurs in myocardial infarction along with ldh1 okay in a myocardial infarction along with ldh1 this ck2 levels also increased okay and ck mb iso enzyme starts to increase within 4 hours after acute myocardial infarction but in case of ldh1 24 to 48 hours it will take but in case of uh, uh, ck mb like the 2 ck2 creatine kinase 2 okay within 4 hours when the person undergoes like heart attack so within 4 hours these levels will be elevated okay elevated levels of ck3 in serum occur in uh, dystrophies muscular dystrophies and myopathies because this concentration mainly present in the muscles skeletal muscles so going back to the chart so overall chart if you see ck1 so bb type brain type it is present in brain prostate gland 
gastro uh, gastrointestinal tract lung bladder and uterus so there are like numer neurological injury and tumor marker conditions this ck1 level and ck2 we have already studied myocardial infarction so in myocardial infractions dh1 and ck2 levels will be increased so in exam point of view they last so in myocardial infraction which are the parameters will be elevated discuss about them so ck2 and ldh1 okay and ck3 which is present in skeletal muscles muscular dystrophies and myopathies these levels will be elevated so that's all about lactate dehydrogenase and creatine kinase okay as isoenzymes in myocardial infractions thanks for listening thank you